What shall we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I've designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also for private readings. But in the meantime, what shall we ask the tarot today? What do they find attractive about me? Spirit, for the viewer, the person that they are thinking of, what do they find attractive about the viewer, please? What do they find attractive about the viewer, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got the moon, the lovers, the chariot, the emperor. These are all major arcana. The Emperor, the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Wands. Do you see all of these major arcanas? These are deep, deep feelings and thoughts of you. And there is zero doubt about their attraction for you. Let's just start here, shall we? They are absolutely in love with you. Now, I know that traditionally the lover's card also speaks of choices, but the illustration on this deck does not give that vibe off at all. This is two people who are very much in love. The body language is evident. The heads are touching, the way that the arm is draped over. And look, even the toes are touching. As I am reading that, there is a striking thought that the way that you physically connect with one another, the little displays of affection, is hugely attractive to them. And the way that you love is so unconditional and accepting. We see the butterflies here, which speaks of transformation, the way that you have evolved. I am hearing the words better over time. This is a very deep love where the attraction has grown over time their feelings for you extremely sincere. And with the lover's card, they may see you as their spouse. His little top hat reminds me of a wedding. The chariot card, the way that you think and how your mind works. Look, you can see that it is not linear. There are thoughts within thoughts and the way that you process your thoughts is extremely attractive. So although there is this beautiful companionship and very beautiful connection, you are also a very individual person. There are two cards here that show you holding strings or reins. So I would say that there is something about your composure and the way that you are in control of situations, no matter what is going on. You may have a lot of different responsibilities here. And somehow you make it look effortless. You may be a boss or a leader. And you very much care for those who you are responsible for. This is such a lovely Wheel of Fortune card. And as I'm looking at the illustration, we see all of the cogs turning in a similar fashion to how we saw the thought process. The skirt on the dress open, revealing all that is happening. And we see this little pocket watch. To me, this is showing that you are open and authentic. It is very easy for this person to read you and to see what makes you tick. Everything that you do is heart-based. Your actions are very honest and there is no ulterior motive. Who you present as is truly who you are. And certainly, though your actions may be very heart-based and loving. There is no doubt as to who is in charge here. You are the boss. The moon card does have this very soft feminine energy and this may be speaking of your intuitive side. You may have sharpened intuition and moons do speak of emotions. Therefore, you may be very sensitive to others. And the combination of all of these things is so beautiful. Yes, you're sweet, you're soft, you're caring. But on the other hand, you get stuff done. And you are a very high achiever. 
The Nine of Wands is often seen as the wounded warrior card. This is someone who gets knocked down several times. We can see how these thorns have ripped her shirt. And yet you have this resilience. You get up every single time you've been knocked down. And it wouldn't surprise me if those who have been knocked down become better than they were prior. It just really strengthens you as a character. Again, you make it look so effortless. Not everybody has these same characteristics. It's very unique. With the Page of Swords, you are also a constant learner. You carry so much information and you have a very gentle way of sharing this knowledge with others. We see the dandelion clock that almost looks like a cotton puff and we can see the little seedlings naturally being spread. So in summary, what do they find attractive about you? Your love of learning and the way that you share your knowledge with others in a very natural, unforced way. Your empathy, your kindness, your knowing, the depth of your own emotions. There is nothing shallow about you. Your internal and external strength, the way that you always get back up on your feet after being knocked down. You do not crumble at the merest scratch. You have so much inner resilience. Your authenticity. It is so easy to read you. There is nothing that is hidden. Once again, this is saying that you are motivated by kindness. We see the first cog here is triggered by the heart. They also feel that those whose lives you are in are deeply blessed to have you there. That you are a bringer of abundance and beauty to all around. They love the way that you look after others. You do not shirk your responsibilities. And though you may have many, you make it look effortless. You carry such wisdom with you. The depth and the way that you think things through. And perhaps when you are deep in thought, you may even retreat. Have you ever watched a snail? As a child, we had so many snails in the garden and I maybe was a little naughty and did used to touch their eyes just so that I could watch them retreat back into their shell. You do have a little shell of armour around you that may keep most people out. But to you, this person is not most people and they are of your inner circle. This is someone who you trust and share deeply with. They do not take this for granted. They feel honoured by it. They love the way that you love them and that you trust them with every part of yourself. And this is someone who will not let you down, or at least that is certainly not their intention. They see you as a powerhouse and someone incredibly unique and special. And they have so much love and gratitude for you being in their life. If you would like to learn what do they find attractive about you, there is a link in my bio to private readings.